பெரிவா சரணம் ஆனந்த லஹரியின் நிறைவு தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆனந்த லஹரி இந்த ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லோகா விச் மார்க்ஸ் தி எண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் பார்ட் ஆஃப் சவுந்தரி லஹரி ஆல்சோ கோல்ட் த ஆனந்த லஹரி ஃப்ரம் ஸ்லோகா ஒன் டு ஃபார்ட்டி ஒன் அவர் ஆச்சாரியா ஹஸ் யூஸ் த ஃப்ரேஸ் சனாதாபியாம் த சுப்ரைசிங் திங் இஸ் தேட் இட் இஸ் நாட் செட் அபவுட் ஆல் ஆஃப் அஸ் ஹூ ஆர் லைக் ஆர்ஃபன்ஸ் பட் அபவுட் போத் ஆஃப் தெம் உபாபியாம் ஏதாபியாம் சனாதாபியாம் மீனிங் த டூ ஆஃப் யூ ஹூ ஆர் வெல் டேக்கன் கேர் ஆஃப் வாட் டஸ் இட் மீன் இஸ் இஸ் சம் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் இன் அ பொசிஷன் ஆஃப் அ மாஸ்டர் ஃபார் தெம் ஆல்சோ டேக்கிங் கேர் ஆஃப் தெம் இஸ் இன் திஸ் வெரி ஃபனி For us, there is Ishwara, and so we are not orphans. For God, since there is none above them to take care of, it is Ishwara and Ambal who have none to care for them. So it is God who is Anatha, without a master to take care of God, as somebody said. Has our Acharya changed this or confirmed such an opinion? The answer is, no, neither. they are within themselves one who is the master for the other mutually there is no shiva without shakti and vice versa in one way she is sesha and he is seshi and in yet another way he is sesha and she is seshi in their leela there are occasions when she remains beyond and takes care of him protecting him from mahapralaya and kalakuta poison while when she is parvati or dakshayani he takes a leadership role even from the point of deeper import of philosophy the principle of shivam remains above that of shakti and on other occasions it is the principle of shakti which dominates as mentioned in mantra shastras shivagama scriptures and tirumandiram by tirumolar both are related to each other in many ways like the warp and the weft in weaving of clothes both in their favors are needed and their individual grace is conditional on the others that is why they are revered as father and mother even then their blessings are mutually conditional both having the veto power that is exactly the meaning conveyed by the 333rd shloka of tirumandiram which says sattan arul taril satti arul undam satti arul taril sattan arul undam here the word sattan means shivam and shakti means shakti even parmeshwara is addressed as tayu anavar meaning that he is also the mother it is clear that both the parents have equal importance just because he is also the mother in trichi malai kottai temple is there no sannidhi for ambal even there with great presence there is the sannidhi of the shape and form of shri chakra in which there is the goddess sugandha kuntalambal i told you earlier that in the inner walls of that sannidhi the shlokas of anand lahari have been engraved on granite thus the anand lahari part gets completed by the ultimate divinity coming to us as the father and mother for our own intrinsic benefit in this worldly life and in the deeper reality of existence do not think that it is some play acting for the purpose of duping and submerging us all in utter delusion this janaka janani mat of having the security of parental care that too of the ultimate divinity in that role is something you can be rightfully proud of this is the real protection for all children and that is available to all the people of the world says our acharya do in between these 41 shlokas there are discussions of shri chakra yantra mantra bijam kundalini and such matters at the basic point of moola aadhara it is reassuring to know that our parents are there 
lovingly approachable and very concerned of our welfare. That is the greatest assurance required for the children of today. Janaka Janani Mat is the assurance of having our own parents as our legal guardians. Our Acharya is saying that all the people of this world have that assurance and nobody need feel uncared for. Thus, Ananda Lahari gets completed with this positive note wherein the child representing all the people of the world having had the wonderful opportunity of locating and identifying its parents. Periva Sharanam